The latest Real Clear Politics poll has incumbent Senator Mark Kelly ahead of Republican challenger Blake Masters by just one percentage point. This seat is another one that could determine the balance of power in Congress. Allie Bradley has the details of the last-ditch efforts being made by both of the candidates in Arizona this morning. Allie, hello. Yeah, hi, good morning, Marnie. So they're crisscrossing across the state, of course, vying for that undecided vote, that coveted undecided vote as we uh, head into the home stretch here. We know that candidates right now are, are trying to re reassure people that not only is their vote secure, but they're also trying to tell them that this is anybody's race. Get out there and vote. Don't assume that your candidate's going to win. Incumbent Senator Mark Kelly bringing out a heavy hitter in Dr. Jill Biden over the weekend to stump in Phoenix, while Republicans Senate candidate Blake Masters joined gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake on the Arizona first bus tour around the state, which also brought them down to the southern border. Steve Bannon was also on hand there, some of those heavy hitters that we talked about. Take a listen to what they had to say. I think the Democrats, they, you know, they're smug, they're content. They think, oh, we have a little lead in the early vote. I think our people who are going to show up on election day are just going to eviscerate that lead. People that you don't think are going to vote, I need you to convince them to vote. And then we need you to knock on some doors and make some phone calls because we have a stronger democracy when more people vote. And our democracy is really at risk now. Now, when it comes to the gubernatorial side of things, Democratic opponent for Carrie Lake, Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, embarked on her Solutions Camp Wait Bus Tour, making stops in Flagstaff and Tucson over the weekend and it all comes as the state's biggest county this is we're talking about Maricopa County has dealt with unfounded voter fraud issues from 2020 still dealing with voter intimidation and threats to election workers Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richer confirming there have been at least 140 threats or hostile communications directed at election workers here in Maricopa County between the months of July and August this is information first reported by Reuters but the county recorder confirming those details to me as well and also Marnie saying that those threats are ongoing and while they have received those threats they're also getting encouraging messages as well kind of keeping them going messages saying thank you for upholding integrity and things like that uh, just reassuring them for what they're doing as well out here Marnie. Yeah, an important critical job. Allie, there have been calls for Katie Hobbs who is currently the Secretary of State in Arizona to recuse herself from that role while she's running for governor. What's she saying about that? Yeah, there have been a lot of questions surrounding that. When I talked with Secretary of State Hobbs specifically about that, asking her if she had plans to step down at all, she said that this is not new. It's something that Secretaries of State have been doing since the beginning of statehood. She cited other people that have run for re-election here in the state, including others who have run as Secretary of State running for governor. Take a listen. I took an oath of office, an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution laws of the state of Arizona, and I've done that during my tenure, and I'll continue to do that uh, until I leave office on January 2nd. Um, and we are, um, we, we are upholding the laws in terms of overseeing elections. My, my, the main focus of my office is making sure that um, our, our state laws on elections are being upheld uh, by the folks administering elections at the county level. Now, we talked about those last-ditch efforts here, Marnie. When it comes to Katie Hobbs, she's going to be in Mesa. She's going to be in Peoria and Phoenix today, uh, continuing on her canvases. Then we have Carrie Lake. She'll be continuing on her Arizona First bus tour, where we'll also be seeing Blake Masters as well, Well, they'll make stops to having rallies in Phoenix and Prescott today. And then Senator Mark Kelly will be canvassing, and then he'll have a Republicans for Mark Kelly rally as well today. So we'll have details on those events as well. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.